Good morning, I'm Jack. And I'm Amber. And today is, we don't know what day because there's no school right now. Um, <laughs> so it's Thursday and whenever you're watching this, you could be watching this at four o'clock if you're just getting up like me, or you could be watching this at 11 when it's updated. So who knows, but today we're gonna be doing our final morning show together and we're just gonna kind of talk about it and talk about life, I guess. So do you remember the first morning show that we did together? I don't remember the first one. It was sophomore year, and we were doing it about Disney Channel shows. And today is, is April 3rd, and I'm Jack. And I'm Amber, and today we'll be talking about something that we both enjoy very much, and that is... The old Nickelodeon and Disney shows. Oh, I remember this And we now. said that we were going to do a part two, and we never did. Oh, we didn't. So, oh well, if we had a time machine, would we go back? No. No. <laughs> um, but we started anchored together in junior year, and I think our first show we did together that year was Mean Girls. Yeah, I think it was. Because it was October 3rd and it was on a Wednesday. Mm -hmm. I remember that. Um, but what was your favorite show that we ever did together? My favorite shows that we ever did together were the ones where we would drive around to different places and we would go try chicken nuggets, go try different chicken sandwiches. Those were my favorites. And then I always liked that we would just sit there and just talk after we filmed. Yeah, and just and would people, just, and yeah, people we just would just like, people watch, and, and then people, people were like, would be staring at us. Yeah. <laughs> it's, like, it's like, you know what, whatever, that's part of the yeah. fun. I liked the show where we had buff, where we baked muffins together. Oh, I loved that show too. Oh, and people were like, you guys didn't have a bev. Yeah. <laughs> but that was, that was fun. Um, what else? We did a lot of cooking shows and stuff like that. Yeah, um, I, I remember when your sister came home, when yes. we were eating the chicken nuggets, and she took some of them, yes. and we couldn't find them. That was so funny. That was interesting. But um, yeah, so we're gonna throw it off to weather now. So we'll be back after that. So obviously I'm not gonna be here next year. Um, peace out. But um, what are you gonna be doing senior year? What are you hoping to do? What are you looking to do? Hopefully I will be getting into the new visions program so that I can go and help out um, at hospitals in the morning. What schools are you looking to go to? Uh, currently I've been looking at Russell Sage Colleges and I just recently got a scholarship from them. Wonderful. And I've also been looking at Le Moyne and Krauss. I've been doing some virtual tours through them and I've already toured my sister's colleges because I've just been there so I could go on tours while they were happening. So yeah, I mean, honestly, I feel like I'm really not prepared and it's probably a little bit of a timing thing with the coronavirus, mm -hmm. uh, COVID-19 going, because I can't go to the colleges yeah. necessarily. So it's, it's putting a little bit of like a, a stunt to my going around checking out colleges. I really don't know what I'm gonna do yet. Now, did coronavirus, did it like change how you felt about it? Like I know, like uh, nursing, was it like, I mean, that's really difficult, there I don't was know if a, I wanna do that. There was a real breakthrough moment that I had that was of a video of nurses and they were taking off their masks and they were showing their bruises and stuff like that. And I remember I was just sitting there and I was just crying because I was realizing like, one day I could be at the front line of a pandemic. And that's honestly one of my goals is to be helping as many people as possible and is to be changing people's lives, whether they know it or not. So hopefully I can fulfill that goal. Absolutely. Shout out to all of the nurses and um, <laughs> frontline people and fast food workers who are working yes. during this time because believe me, it's difficult. Period. Um, so yeah, as for me, I'm going to Siena College next year, along with um, Lauren Miller and Spencer Caramana, and I think there might be a few other people, so I'm sorry if I didn't say your name. And I will be studying broadcast journalism, so thanks to Morning Show, I am going to be doing that. And they just announced that they were opening in the fall, so I am super excited. Okay. So I know a lot of people are like, I'm so sorry about your senior year, I'm so sorry. I'm like, what do I have to be sad about? I'm going to school in the fall. Yeah, it's and a new beginning. Yeah, you know, I'm just looking forward to the next chapter, and so should you, because there's nothing to be sad about. Yeah. And um, yeah, other than that, I'm just really looking forward to it. Uh, I'm gonna miss school, I'm gonna miss my friends, and I'm gonna miss the teachers, but I'm just so looking forward to the next chapter. Not to cry. Okay. I know you get emotional, but let's go. Oh, wow, wow. Go. <laughs> um, I don't even know what to say. There's 
there's like a lot of things that I feel like not only like you, but like all of the seniors have helped me like learn throughout the years. Mm -hmm. They've been my leaders. I've always looked up to your guys' class, honestly, just like there's certain people in it that have changed my life so much, mm -hmm. you included. I'm, it's so sad that you guys are all going to be leaving, but I know that when you guys come back, that we can all get together again, talk about our different experiences, what school is like without you guys here. It's going to be different because I feel like I've always been in the school with you guys, right. so it's like, it's weird. Yeah, it's, it's gonna so be weird. weird. Well, for me, I've really enjoyed anchoring with you. We've had a ton of shows. We've had a ton of fun together. We've had a lot of stressful moments yep. um, with shows. Yes, um, we have. Particularly junior year when there wasn't a ton of people at morning show. Yeah. Um, it's it's just been difficult um, with coronavirus. You know, it's not like closing that chapter is a satisfying. Cause you know, where you're, yeah. It, yeah. it's sort of like a piece of that is missing, mm -hmm. but it's fine because I'm still gonna see you guys and I really will try to come back to Yasam on my breaks and try to visit. I think that'd be great. And I think a lot of people would like that. Um, but you know, I'm just gonna miss a lot of the stuff like Spirit Week and Pep Rally yeah. and the football games mm -hmm. and um, the school lunches, chicken, bacon, ranch, pizza. I don't care what anybody says. The school lunch is really good. And um, I'm gonna miss the musical and I'm gonna miss um, all that sort of stuff. So it's just wonderful. There's so many great things about EFM. Yeah. So many wonderful things. And there's so many great things that a lot of schools in this area don't have. Mm -hmm. um, so I just think it's wonderful and I'm definitely gonna miss it a lot. And. I'm gonna miss you, and I'm Aww. gonna miss a ton of other underclassmen, so yeah. it's gonna be sad. But on that note, that has been our final morning show together. So I'm Jack, and I'm Amber, and have a great day and have a wonderful summer.